that is nothing more dangerous than to build a society with a large segment of people in that society who feel that they have no stake in it, who feel that they have nothing to lose. People who have stake in that society protect that society, but when they don't have it, they unconsciously want to destroy it. The Black Panthers. People still ask me how it all started and how things went so far. And like a lot of questions about the Panthers, they're different answers, different beginnings. What became the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense really started with two guys, Bobby Seale and Huey Newton, saying two words, defend yourself. The story has it that they hooked up at some coffee house where Bobby was running down the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to see. Right on your black and white TV. Black man, blue cop, red blood. Brothers watching other brothers die. Oh, my. Stop your neck away. Hey, what you doing? He's gonna die, black boy. The police threw them both in jail. You know, the man is convincing it. His foot is an integral part of our hands. Yeah. But fuck that. They get fucked back. And there they started talking about black folks ought to start and standing up for themselves. No master plan, no pot to piss in. Nothing like that. Just two fed up brothers. Next thing you know, bam. You got the Black Panther Party for self defense. One of the first members to join was little Bobby Hutton. And that got the ball rolling. But for me, it started differently. you looking? What you're looking at is almost 30 years old, but this hat is brand new. Get yourself on the school, boy. Yes, ma'am. I should tell your mama on you. Little cutie pie. Hey, Luther, man, he was messing around with that old white man. That's why Luther ain't with us today, so I'm gonna pour some out for Luther. Fuck Luther, man. He owe me $30. Man, you ain't gonna get that money now from Luther. I see his mother, I'm gonna give him money. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it from her either. She ain't got no money. I'll <laughs> take a watch. Shake it up. Don't worry, man. Look at it, man. I got the perfect gift for that sophisticated lady in your life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say some solid gold set of facts. Now I'll give you a second half price for your wife. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. Why are you still trying to sell it? Hey, hey, I don't know him. Die, man. I don't know him. Play the ass like Man, you, you, you done messed up. Man, get your one-eyed ass out of here. You just shut up, you tall midget, and pay me my money on me with this fake lighter. Tiny, you get the stool, all right? You might be a tall midget, but you mad because you can only see half the lighter. Yeah, I'm half a minute off your ass, too. Hi, right, Tiny. Get the school on, Tiny. Mm -hmm. Fine. 
Young man. Like I said, for me, it started a lot differently. Yeah, I guess you could say for me, the Black Panther Party started in my mom's front yard. Now tell me, don't you find black men got anything better to do than play games? Sure I do, but your sister ain't home. Give me the damn ball, man. Yeah, take it. I thought some righteous brothers like yourself might be able to help yourself, but I guess that ain't you. Help who with what? It's your community. That's who. Now maybe you ain't know, but another kid died today. Come on now, look, y'all, that's three this year. In the same spot? Damn straight. No Reverend Slocum, he's having another vigil to put a stoplight in that corner. What I'm asking y'all is for some of you able black asses to calm down and be observers on them cops. Take down some badge numbers. They don't like pulling a whole lot of shit. Too many eyes on them. That's how y'all can help. Not by praying, but by watching. You think the police care anything about a bunch of black people praying? Now the community's been trying to get this stoplight put in since before my mother was a virgin. That's been a long right. time. Now you think City Hall really cares about a bunch of black people having another prayer vigil at some goddamn church? Not around they ain't gonna have it in church. Anyway. They're gonna march to the intersection. It's gonna be a peaceful protest. Hey, my mom is at that. And I ain't fucking with no cops. They don't like us getting involved with none of that political shit. Look, some of us feel we shouldn't even interact with the white man. I mean, we are African, brother. That's right. That's Mother right. Africa's the only salvation. You look, you phony-ass bougie nigga. We ain't in Africa. We in Oakland. And in Oakland, we got police brutality. We got the white man interacting his billy club upside the black man's head. That shit don't bother you. Why don't you take your skirt-wearing ass back to Africa, Uncle? What? Oh, come on, man. Come on. We don't need none of this. We don't want to go. Go ahead. We don't want to go. Go on. What about you? What about you two? You were both there. You saw that kid. Yeah, I saw, but uh. But what, man? You do live here, don't you? Yeah, I do live here. Then why don't you act like it, man? Come on. Just take a second, I promise. My mom is here. You young niggas crazy. The man ain't gonna let y'all have no say so in shit. He gonna come down on y'all like a ton of bricks, just like this one right here, baby. Uh! Listen, don't let the cops provoke you. We're just here to take down some badge numbers. Who's we, man? Hey, man, come on, brother. Where you been? Sure, so we the Black Panther Party for some defense. Panther? What, y'all some kind of gang or something? How old is you, boy? And we ain't no gang, so we revolutionaries, man. Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, he's only 16. We made him get his mom's permission before he could join. 16? He's just a kid, man. Well, yeah, well, cops kicked the shit out of kids, too. The black community was a family. A strong force to be reckoned with. The ghetto was never heaven. We had our crooks and drunks and the establishment exploiting us. As long as we suffered in silence, the authorities left us alone. We shall not be But that silent suffering shit was about to change. Hey, man, I thought you said all the Panthers were gonna be Hey, here. what you see is what you get. That's Bobby Seal. And that? That's you. Well, shit, ain't too many you motherfuckers out there. Hey, man, it only takes a single grain of sand to move the world. We shall not be free. What the Sam hell is this? Vigil for some picking and he got hit here. Start taking damn bad numbers, y'all. Vigil my ass. Now listen up. You've got 30 seconds to disperse and return to your home. Failure to do so will result in your immediate arrest. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the wall. You are resisting the rest. We shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. Get him here, huh? Go. Get that bad stuff! Hey, y'all, the 
Observer stuff ain't working. I mean, the cops, they cover the badges, and even if we do report it, don't nothing happen? I know we need to stay disciplined, but I ain't joined this motherfucker just to get my ass kicked. We must turn the other cheek, brothers. Remember, remember, the meat shall inherit the earth. Wait, wait, hold, hold, look, look, what we need to do is pray for their forgiveness. They know not what they do. Hey, no, no offense, Reverend, but they've been practicing on us for 400 years. I think they know exactly what they're doing. Amen to that. Brother Malcolm said we need to stop singing and start swinging. <laughs> hey, y'all get ran and raid, but it's the police who got the gun, man. Shit. If black folks had guns, we'd probably shoot each other with it. <laughs> Lord, why don't they show us no respect? Because they don't have to. They think they can brutalize us and lock us up without a jury of our peers because we're ignorant to the laws. What we need to do is organize, keep our shit correct, and exercise our constitutional right as citizens to defend ourselves and arm ourselves. Then, if they try to brutalize us or, or, or violate our rights, man, we got a right and means to defend ourselves. What the hell is the boy saying? The man said we can carry guns. It's legal. That's right. What? So, what, y'all gonna get guns and shoot cops? I mean... No, it ain't about shooting cops. It's about getting a man's attention and showing our community that we ain't got to take this shit no more. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking the about. The establishment, it don't listen to a sing, play, or beg. But believe me, they see some disciplined brothers with guns. They're gonna pay attention fast. They're gonna know that the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense is serious about defending the rights of our people. Dig it. All power. To the people. All power to the people. <laughs> All power to the people. <laughs> Free at last, my brothers and sisters. God had delivered us from the lion's den. Reverend, we black where we started. And we still ain't got us a stoplight. As the good reverend says, God helps those that help themselves. We'll be our own stoplight. Well, Y'all need a hot meal and a hot bath. I'll check you. How's mom? Learn from observation and participation. Mm. That's beautiful, man. They've been their own stoplight. So what is that going to do, man? Come on, Jess, man. We got to start somewhere. Show you right. And I'm going to start by getting on my feet, working on things from inside the system. Shit, that's why I volunteered for Nam to get the GI. That's yeah. bullshit. You volunteered to beat that joyriding rap. Man, that's how they in the system. Right there inside of you. You know what? I'm joining, man. What? I'ma I'ma join the Black Panther Party. Sorry, man, you don't need to. You be careful then, bro. Oh my god. Ma, when did I let you up? A couple of hours ago. You okay? Hey, I'm all right. How about you? God, you don't look all right. Look at this. Whipping up on that cop like you was crazy. Hey, that cop was trying to hit my mama. I can't have that, you know. Come here. Oh, what would your daddy say? Both of us locked up in prison. <laughs> like, like two jailbirds. I don't know. Those was your roughneck friends you met in jail over there? Mom, it's not like you think. Those fellas, they all right. They was out there trying to do something. Well, those fellas, those Black Panthers, I hear they're communists. They don't even believe in God. 
Ma, black folks been praying to God for 400 years. Maybe it's time we try something else. You believe that? I don't know. I really don't. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Them boys keep on the way they're keeping on. It's gonna be a lot of trouble around here. Those things don't work, believe me. Um, don't I know it? Come on in, Agent Rogers. Have a seat. Always a pleasure to see you. Oh, what can I do to be of help? Well, it seems the Bay Area has become a real hornet's nest for subversive activities. Mr. Hoover would just like to reiterate that the FBI is willing to help the authorities in any way they can. You know, strictly on a, an advisory basis, of course. Of course. Well, I appreciate your help, but I think we have things pretty well under control. Just the usual bunch of kooks that you guys have had under surveillance. They're still making a lot of noise and smoking pot, but nothing to be worried about. And what can you tell me about the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense? <laughs> They're just a bunch of shines running around shaking their fists about some street light. I mean, they're loud, but they're not dangerous. Well, is it possible we could make some kind of deal with them? Nah, they're, they're kids, mostly. Uh, idealists. They think, actually, they're for real. You want me to put a man on it? I think that'd be a good idea. Take care of that stomach. Oh, yeah, by the way, I would appreciate if that man of yours would keep a low profile. What's up? What's up? What y'all want? What y'all want? Turn on my red? Man, this shit would get you high as a motherfucking monk. Well, I was wondering, do you have any cocaine? Some cocaine? Man, I can get you some cocaine, but you can't do it here. All these two out there. Give me twenty dollars and meet me back in an hour, and I have it. But look, I'm telling you, don't fuck around, white boy, because it's some serious shit. You meet me back here in an hour? Man, I said I'm gonna meet you here. Don't get out of here, man. Get out of here, motherfucker. That's a stupid motherfucker. What the fuck you doing? Man, we can't have you pushing poison on the street. Man, I ain't doing that, man. Work better than some coke, so I just took his money. It's a hustle. I'm about to get paid, brother. Look, I understand what you're saying, but you got to understand what the Panthers are saying. You got to be part of the solution, not the problem. Yeah, you're right. Whatever, brother. All that's cool, but uh, let me get my money thing straight first, all right? Motherfucking Panthers, y'all worse than the police. Hey, baby, why don't you join the Black Panther Party? Or oh, better yet, why don't you join me for this? Wait a minute. Look at that, look at that! Oh, brown, sugar! Uh, no, 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 Oh, girl, you never want to shock your way to the grave. Look what you make me do! Oh, man. What are you doing out here, jiving around, looking at the young girl like that, huh? I'm just doing my job. Now, you know you're supposed to be directing traffic, huh? All right, I don't know, but give me the glove. Look at here, look at here, look at here! How you doing, Casper? What's y'all now? You lost or something? We hurt you. Oh, man. Oh, you police. He the buzz, man. Oh, you couldn't just be a pay old white man. Nah. Take us with you. Go. Come on. Take us with you. Come on, man. Sit here. Come on, man. Get out here. Pimps approach the store sometimes. The straight head frizz and a hesitant glance. Cuz, look here, cuz. I want to find some shit like that. Let you find back Yeah, so uh, she arrives next month. So if you brothers interested. Uh, interested? What kind of practice those brothers can preach? Cool. Where's Bobby C? I don't know, but I'm looking at that fine sister over there. Hello, Bobby. Hey, man, you got to take the down. You're going to love it. No. Oh. Hold on, oh, it's magic. So we got a decision to make. What's okay. wrong? You know those brothers in San Fran, they be calling themselves Black Panthers, too. Yeah? What, you mean them brothers don't do nothing to print up a lot of papers here, Black is Beautiful? He's one of them. And they're bringing in Sister Betty Shabazz next month to speak for Rap. We'll do an interview for Rap. And they want us to help with security. Right. Yeah. If anybody's going to protect Malcolm's legacy, it better be us. Show you right. Am I right? Show you right. Let's go check it out. Yes, indeed. Mm, cook me up a burger. Greetings, African brothers from across the bay. We understand you would like to assist us with Sister Betty Shabazz's security. That's right. We'd be proud to provide escort for Sister Shabazz. How many men, how many guns you got? 
Give the brothers some libation. Me too while you at it. Men? Brother Dewey? Huey. Uh, no, thank you, sister. Yeah, <clears throat> Louis. You know what I'm saying, brother. We as a revolutionary vanguard are serious with our shit. I assure you that Brother Lombard here and our other brothers will rise to the occasion in full effect. Just make sure you're on time. We'll be prepared. Right, Mama Lombard? You hear? Wambasa, Simba, freedom and work, lion. Emoja brothers. Man, those Karangatan looking armchair revolutionaries ain't fit for the name Panthers. Right now we need to be ready to protect better Shabazz because them brothers sure as hell can't. They need some guns. Well, we need some money first. All we got is two pistols, man. Now where we gonna get the money to buy them guns and shit that you done told them we had? You're the chairman, I'm Minister of Defense. You figure it out. I already did, you see. That's what I was trying to tell you, brother. Come on, dude. You ain't this bad. Here we go. Check it out. Bought every copy in Chinatown. Got a discount, too. 30 cent a piece. Bobby, quotations from Chairman Mao. Mao, brother, Mao. Man, these are books. That's man. right, that's right. Go and sell them for a dollar. Make 70 cents. And that's what you did with my money? Only a dollar. Get the load down right here. Only a dollar. You want to get it from me? Get the load down. Right if you're afraid right of here. socialism, you're afraid of yourself. See, get the load down right there. Only Come a dollar. Come on, Mountain Come on, right here. Only a dollar. Right 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 Only one dollar. Only one dollar. Right, I know what you're thinking. Only a dollar. Only a dollar. Hey, these guys right here want to join. Sorry, guys. Uh, party feels it's important for black people to do it for themselves, so we're not signing up any white folks. Now for what we do, we appreciate it. You know? We're organized some righteous white folks, so I got a feeling we're gonna need each other. Get your rap with be up to the struggle. Thank you very much. Be up to the struggle. Only a dollar. Only a dollar. Be up to the struggle. Hey, boy. That's what they got you doing now? Hey, man. Party needs the bread. Hey, be up to the struggle. Only a dollar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dollar? Is that authentic? This here, the real deal. Straight from Revolution HQ. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Long live the revolution, brother. All right, now. Now, the money's cool. But what the party need even more is brothers like you. Hey, Judge, man, we need you, man. Look at all these... Look at all these, look at all these words. Hell, I don't even know half of them. Yeah, well, don't worry. I tighten you up on the words, man. But I got a pass on the revolution right now. I got class. Bro. Why don't we hit cloud nine later? Look, check this out. Won't you come on down to the office? Kind of raggedy, but come on. You really into this Panther thing, aren't you? Hey, you ain't far out, man. Say, you know what, man? You should come down here with you and Bobby. Got to say to man. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Hey, man, fuck maybe. Be there. Like I said, maybe. Maybe your brother got an afro on, maybe got a process. Maybe sister got her hair straight, and maybe it's natural. Maybe your brother got a dashiki on, and maybe he got a sharp pimp suit. You dig what I'm saying? Bro, maybe sister's prostituting herself, maybe she's teaching kids to read. Whatever. The pig will murder, brutalize, and kill you simply because you're black, no matter what kind of bag you're in. That's fact. Now, we, the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, we're not anarchists. The government's supposed to serve the people. In the black community, the government should serve black people. Black cops for black people. Not the army they got occupying our community now. Mm. Army, you say, hold on, hold on. Hey, brother, <laughs> this ain't Vietnam. Well, the army's right outside your door, folks. They're the cops. They're the pigs. They're supposed to protect and serve. They don't do nothing but patrol and control. Why do we call them pigs? Not just because that's what they are, but because it's legal. And you curse. You call a pig a dirty mother, whatever. It's illegal. He got an excuse to arrest you, so don't give him no excuse. Now, in order to become a member of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, you must not only know the oppressor's laws, you have to know our laws. <laughs> for instance, no getting high on Panther premises or while carrying out Panther duties. When I'm gonna get a gun? We don't have none yet. And no one gets one from us until they've gone through the proper training. And that includes knowing the 10-point program. That's right, brother. Since we gotta educate ourselves, know our own history. Man, I had history in school. Not that colonial slavery boy they want you to know. I'm talking about the real history. From Mao to Fanon That's now right. X. Mm. And if you got trouble yeah. reading, we will help you. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Man, I'm out of here. You niggas, crazy. Come on, back on, bro. You got no guns. 
All those uh, interested in joining the Black Panthers, uh, just sign this sheet of paper right here. Clean here you go, this brother. shit sign up. Them white boys gonna kick all y'all ass. Come on, you, you, come on. you, you need sheet. to cut some of that hassle you had to fit in them motherfucking hey, coffins. Because that's why y'all Black keep Panthers keep it. You keep it. You keep it. Don't worry about this. Hey, brother, you want to sign the sheet here? I know you coming back. Oh, you coming back, ain't you? All right, now. What you got there? Let me see this one. That's the one. What do you think? Why do you think that is? What is? Every time a black man goes to lift his head, there's another black man right there to call him crazy. Your size Vietnam buddy, right? Yeah. Then I guess it's safe to say you know something about firepower. It's a busted firing pin. You want only the legal stuff, right, bro? Yeah, just the legit stuff. Nothing wrong with that pistol. Serial number's been filed, man. A cop catches you with this, he has an excuse to say you either stole it or you off somebody with it. I don't want no trouble. No cops coming to me about these guns. No trouble here. You got a permit to say we got cash. All perfectly legal. These are worth a lot more. I thought you were a revolutionary, man. Look, we can't afford them unless you cut us some slack. But you treat us right, we'd be doing a whole lot of business. All right? Wonderful. There you go. That's it. Let's go. The ghetto being the ghetto, the Panthers had two big obstacles to overcome. Ignorance and inertia. The big eyes, as they call them. My brother, here, take a seat. Play the party with Dutch Fist. You see? Gene, I hope you see what you're doing. Oh, let me see what's with that, that half a bra on your face. <laughs> Looking like a flip up at times. <laughs> See your brother get busted, we check it out, make sure the pigs don't go beating on him. He's taken downtown, we try to hook him up with a lawyer, bail. So what? It's like, we're policing the police. Damn straight. The pigs don't like it, it messes up their cut of the drug trade. Dig it. What are you doing with that gun? Well, what are you doing with yours? Let me see that rifle, son. No. This is my private property. According to California law, we got a constitutional right to bear arms. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, okay. 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 Move along. Wait, 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 wait. Brothers and sisters, no. You ain't got to go nowhere. This is your business. Stay right here. The law says, as long as you stand a reasonable distance, that's eight to ten feet, to be exact, you got a right to observe the police carrying out their duties. From what I can see, standing 22 feet away from this man so brothers ain't no law being broken that's right you stay right where you are you ain't got to go nowhere is that gun loaded boy fishing game law clearly states it's unlawful to carry a live round of ammunition in the chamber of a shotgun or rifle in a vehicle pig refer to him as officer then don't you refer to him as boy well is it loaded I tell you, officer, it wasn't, but now it is. Oh, Ooh, that's a badass nigga! Now, for the last time, boy, what do those guns mean? They mean pig? That the Black Panther Party declares you try to brutalize our community, you try to take our weapons. We'll shoot you, man. Ooh. 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 Back. 
for the robbery by capitalists of our black community. Christ, they're asking for reparations. They couldn't have thought this up for themselves. Yeah, sound like the Constitution to me. Maybe a little of Bill of Rights thrown in. Inspector Brimmer, this is no joke. During your surveillance, did you see any communists or outside agitators? Well, I saw colored people handing out bags of food and uh, having meetings and painting and patrolling the neighborhood and having more meetings. They're undermining the United States of America. And you, Inspector, are not taking your job seriously. Now, oh, come on, Rogers. Now, Dawson, if the Black Panthers are going to remain in your jurisdiction, some fundamental changes are going to have to be made here. Like what? Like you, Inspector Brimmer, are not going to be sitting in your car anymore. I think it's time you took a little more active involvement. Busy day keeping the streets safe. What are you doing out so late? Yeah, I like to keep my eye on my clients' investments. You know, we really should address that expansion of the business, like we said. Look, I don't think that's this a is... nice car. It's nice. You'll remember to pay for it, right? Huh? We'll talk again. So. He says down on Grove Street, all up on the cuff with that lost shit. Man, it was... It was all right, man. Say, bro, you give me a lift, man? Got it. Berkeley campus? Uh, no. Let's go to Panther headquarters. That way we could hang out a little more like we used to. <laughs> my brother! Oh, my brother. You gotta take care of you, kid. Gonna be down now, huh? Am I down? Man, I'm down like four flats on a dump truck. See, I'm Peter Hope. Uh, that's short for pimp, that hoe. And I saw you pounders down on Grove Street. I'm telling you out, man. And everybody know y'all got the finest pussy. So sign a nigga up. As long as I can keep my job and keep putting food on the table, I want to be a pimp. Whitey drops napalm on the yellow man, slaughters and betrays the red man, enslaves and mutilates the black man, and fucks with anybody else he can. You got this in the Alright. Thank you, my brother. We'll be in there. The judge is gonna join us. Congratulations, my brother. This makes it official. Now come in clean, sober, and ready to work. Community is a focal point. I got that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, brother. Ten point program. Hey, yeah. Huey wants to see you. Me? Yeah, you. He said he had a feeling that you'd be coming by. Hey, Eddie, look, control. We gotta get control of this one outside the storefront, man. You know, the people we get. In other national news. President Johnson's press secretary has emphatically denied the rumor that the White House is considering ordering the bombing of Cambodia by our strategic bomber. The Viet Cong have order attacks. Welcome. But the judge, have you decided to get down with us? <clears throat> hey, I'm Dan. Yeah, you a lot of help with those guns? Your soldier shit. Badass. Well, look, I'd hope to be done with all that now. Look at me back. Most brothers die on the front lines. Seems like that's what they're there for. You mind if I ask you a question? Where do you get the money to go to school? GI Bill. Plus, I got a little shrapnel in my leg. It's no problem anymore, but I still get my disability checks. We had a landmine. I thought a landmine was supposed to be fatal. It was for the two guys in front of me. Well, you volunteered or something? Reform school or something. The court said that, or the military. If I stuck around here, I'd end up drunk or dead. 
Why all the questions, man? Security. Security for Sister Betty Shabazz has got to be tight. brothers and sisters to do in following Brother Malcolm's footsteps? Well, I would say that Malcolm lives in each of us and that we must all work together for the community like those brothers out there are doing. Well, Sister Shabazz, we wanted to thank you and we are definitely honored that you have chosen San Francisco for your first public appearance since the martyrdom of Malcolm. Sister, do you feel the fervor of the movement was lost with the death of Malcolm? No, the thirst for freedom was by no means extinguished with the murder of my husband. The desire for liberty is manifested daily. Hey, the police is pulling up outside. Just look around. All in. Brother Huey, no pictures, please. No, no, yes, no, ma'am. No, thank you. I'm not going. I'm not going. You go down there. Look at this. Gun away. No, I'm not going to jail. No, thank you. Cool it. There she is. Mr. Buzz, do you fear for your life? Back up. Back up. Mr. Buzz, through. Who shot Malcolm? Do you think the FBI was involved? Was it a plot? Back up. Back up. Excuse me, Buzz. Do you think Farrakhan was involved? Back up. Look, you're blocking a path. Back up. 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 Please. Sir, please, for the last time, will you back up? Move out of my way. I just want to ask a question. Mr. Boz, do you know who killed your husband? You're out of line. Move, idiot. All right, step back, step back. This man assaulted me. Arrest this man. I'll find the rest of anyone. It's going to be you. Oh, not today. Huey, come on, man. Please, lower the guns, man. We don't want no trouble. That's right. Put the guns away. You're a smart nigger like your friend. We ain't broken no law. You try to violate our constitutional rights, we will defend ourselves, pig. Aren't you going to do anything? You said, asshole, they're not breaking any laws. Oh. All right, step out! Right. All right, step back, folks, step back. Let me go ahead and call it in. Excuse me, what was Mr. Shabazz doing here? Uh, Just the Panthers are dedicated to Melly Hey, hey. Come on. Uh, uh, can we get some kind of hey, a you, here. Hey, Call it in now. Hey, it surprised me they even showed up with guns. <laughs> no. They ain't fit for the name Panther. <laughs> Ooh, hey, what'd it be, Judge? I mean, nobody got hurt. I mean, Sister Betty's safe. Today was a good day, man. Cheer up. That tall punk Panther's gun wasn't loaded. I bet you the rest of them weren't either, man. All right, let's find out. Leader must have courage of Simba. Lion, hmm? This is only the beginning. Oh, refreshments, Brother Bakar? No, no. Brother, brother. Brother Bakar, you should have been there. The pigs laid down to us. We are finally getting the respect that we deserve, just like you prophesied. Sister Alma, more libation, please. Yes, brother. Like I said, brother, we are the vanguard. Once Cleaver's story comes out, then you'll see. Hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? Hey! Malcolm X's widow's life was on the line today and your guns weren't loaded. A gun's a gun, man. It doesn't need to be loaded. Tell that to the pigs. Or better yet, tell that to Brother Malcolm. You wait oh, a second. No, brother. you wait a second. Because you and your punk panthers are counter-revolutionary. You got three choices. One, you merge with us, you follow our rules. Two, you change your name. Or three, we annihilate your ass. You listen, pretty ghetto boy. You're a long way from Oakland. And you're not Malcolm. Fuck you. Fuck! Get back up! Fuck! 
You're the kind of brother we don't need. You're the kind of brother that gets other brothers killed. You need to change your name. Bakar, tell him you'll do it. Tell him you'll do it. Okay. But only for the revolution. Help me up. Move out. Move out. You okay? Move out. See? This, this is kind of revolutionary. Like crabs in a barrel, pulling each other down. Brother Jamal, where you going, man? Forget him. Brother Jamal! Get him! Need you to do something for us, Judge. Staying alive might depend on it. The pigs are gonna try to infiltrate us. We're gonna let them. They're spy. They're gonna be our spy too. Me? Huey, man, you got a whole bunch of people signing up here, and, and me niggas like Tyrone here. Why me? You fit the profile, brother. You're exactly the type of nigga they think they can trust. One, we want freedom. We want power to determine the destiny of our black community. Two, we want full employment for our people. Three, we want an end to the robbery by white men of our black community. Four, we want decent housing fit for shelter of human beings. Everybody talks about what needs to be done to uplift the race. You brothers are doing something about that. And I want to do it with you. If you'll have me. Alma. Uh... I don't think... What you mean? I'm black, ain't I? I care about improving the plight of my people just like you, don't I? Or you figure oppression stops at that thing dangling in between your legs. Check this out, man. Hey, I'm with you, sister, but... Uh... But nothing. We want full-fledged membership in the Black Panther Party. And none of that okay sugar, as long as you play the background getting my beer and rubbing my feet bullshit either. You dig? My beautiful black sisters. As long as you're down with the 10-point program, Santa. Like moms who say, the Lord may not come when you call him, but he's always right on time. the government's power in the hands of the people which means you and I. That's exactly why we say all power to the people. All of us equally united. You know what I'm saying? All races, all colors. White power to white people. Red power to red people. Brown power to brown people. Yellow power to yellow people. Black power to black people. See? All power to the people. Got it? Repeat after me. All power to the people. All power to the people. Everybody thought they the sign. All power to the people. Oh, there you go, yeah, yeah, I like that. The black community was starting to see things at Panthers way. Slowly it was beginning to solidify behind us. Black was beautiful, man. Fast, classy, ass kicking, and name taking too. Yeah. You're judge, right? I'm Brimmer. We need to talk off the record. I don't know you. I got nothing to say to you on or off any record. Yeah, you do. We need to talk here. We can go downtown. Make it easy on yourself. Come to think of it, 
Didn't your mother assault a police officer at 55th and Margaret not long ago? Huh? Of course, uh, Judge, this is all just conjecture. <laughs> Let's walk and talk, huh? Come on. I'll tell you what, Judge, here's the deal. You help me out from time to time, and I'll make sure everything stays clean. You can be big help to your country. Now, look, we've both fought for America. Korea, Nam, okay? We both know that America's got a lot of problems. <laughs> it's still a land of opportunity. Equal opportunity. I know what I'm talking about, Judge. My folks came over here immigrants. They were dirt poor, sharecroppers. They pulled themselves up by the bootstraps. You believe all that, don't you? Well, hell yes, I believe it. I wouldn't be a cop if I didn't. Soldier, without law and order, these streets would just be chaos. And you know it. <laughs> I'll look here, Judge. We, uh, we don't ask something for nothing. We know a college is very expensive these days. We'd like to help out. What do you say? I'm listening. Pardon? I'm listening. Ah, well, you do more than listen. You call me by Wednesday, all right? That number. Okay? okay. All right, a couple of bucks in it for you. All right. See you, Judge. Good morning, Mr. Edward. Hi, <laughs> Hey, brother, they tried to recruit me just like you said. Yeah. You're probably not the only one that they came after. Stall a little so they think you're for real. Eat up, eat up your food. Get some nutrition. Get your nutrition. Tyrone, you think feeding our children is going to make the men jump? Well, I don't know. Seems to me black folks is getting mighty up here, feeding their kids breakfast, trying to take their destiny in their own hands. Makes me wonder what this world's coming to. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I didn't do anything! Turn around now! I didn't do anything! The police lied. Said he was trying to steal a car. That baby wouldn't steal my car. Mama? Mama, these brothers here from the Black Panther Party of Self-Defense. I asked them over from Oakland. I thank you all for coming to grieve with us. Police won't tell us nothing. They've been shooting black men around here like we're going out of style. Oh, Lord have mercy. My boy didn't do nothing. <laughs> Can't somebody do something? Yes, ma'am. We came to do something. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! All power to the people! All power to the people! All power to the people! The police say Brother Denzel Dow was trying to steal a car! and ran through a field of broken glass and oil. But when we checked, the bottom of his shoes were clean. And if any of y'all knew Denzel, you knew he was in a car accident, that he walked with a limp, so he couldn't hop any fence. The police report says quite clearly, Denzel was shot three times. But the coroner's report says, Denzel Dow was shot six times. Two of those shots were in his armpit, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. You know why that is? Why? Brother Denzel had his hands up! What do we want? Justice! Look here, my brother, we need more programs in the car. Amen, amen, brothers and sisters. Let us bow our heads and pray. That's your phone call. You should have told me about this. Oh, we're having this damn rough cop. So your soul brothers won't know we're partners. Justice! What do we want? Justice! Come on, man. No, it's just harassment. We got momentum, brother. You're not coming in here with no gun. The firearm is being carried in plain view, therefore it's perfectly legal by California statute. This is public property, paid for by the people. Over my dead body. Well, that's your call, pig. We didn't come for bloodshed. We come for justice. But don't be pushing us too far. Boys, please. Look at the 
police department has nothing to hide, then why didn't they allow the Denzel Dale family to observe the body? And if he bled to death, why is the coroner's report said he was shot to death? Now, we demand a grander investigation to the death of Denzel Dow and the pattern of brutality against the black citizens of Richmond. The police department has conducted its own inquest and concluded that no misconduct occurred. As far as a pattern of brutality, the charge is ridiculous. And what do you call four dead black men in six months? I call it the police doing their duty under the law. You got a problem with any law, you take it to the legislature. I think the pig might have a point. Get the hell out of my office! Look here, the law's changing. You ain't gonna be able to carry them guns much longer. We understand each other, Judge? Yeah. All right, then. Look, I expect to hear from you real soon. If you Newton takes a crap, I want to know about it. Otherwise, I'm gonna come looking for you. I won't be near as friendly as I was today. Judge, you gotta remember something. You got a lot of stake here. Look, the Panthers are gonna lose. The only question is, are you gonna lose along with them? Are you gonna lose your future, your mother, your life? Now think about it. All right, soldier, go on, get out of here, go on. Just when black people start to exercise their right to bear arms and defend, they said the pigs want to change the law. Yeah. We ain't gonna make it easy for them to have no unarmed targets, are we? Yeah. Can you dig that? Now, I want y'all to have a good time and enjoy yourselves because this here is your community. It's our community. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. Just do me one favor save me some of that barbecue out there. All right, listen to the band. Have a good time. Love you. Panthers going, including that reporter from uh, Ramparts, Cleaver. That's 30. Oh, this is going to be a colossal event. We're going to turn the capital out. Far out, baby. Far out. Hey, will you cool it, Bobby, man? What'd it be, brother? What'd it be is that you ain't going with us, Huey. But now we the leadership, you and me. It ain't enough of us as it is. That's just it. Huey the pigs don't know how many Panthers there are. If both of us show up, they might start putting two and two together. Make five. We ain't even a hundred strong yet, but we got them guessing thousands. Okay, I'll go, you stay. Uh -huh. You went and took a boat. You too risky. It's decided. You stay. That's right, man. Now go on, move your mama's lawn. Make <laughs> like your problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'll stay. You go. <laughs> judge, do you want a beer? Hey, Judge, where you been, man? I saw the pigs rousing you at the rally. You okay? Yeah, man. Uh, I was, uh... It was just harassment. My driver's license expired. Pigs, man, they be grabbing at anything. <laughs> so what's the pig's name? Bremer. Oh, you gotta stay cool on this. Icy goddamn cool, brother, because you just became the strongest weapon we got. Let me guess. That pig wants you to call him and tell him what we're doing. Yep. All right, you're gonna do just that, but I'm gonna tell you what to feed the pig. You all right with this? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Hey, man, do any of the other brothers know about this? Shit's getting pretty thick, here. Yeah, I got a feeling it's gonna get a whole lot thicker for all of us. Isn't that nice? Governor Reagan, that's exactly your name. Brother, you're going to make a for the Here, let me, uh, let me sign it. And are you kids all from the same area? Same this time? Uh, Governor, what about the Muslim? I would tell these people the same thing I say to all of you. 
Remember the three R's? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Okay, and uh, you can become oh, no. lawyers, doctors, that's what America is all about. Come on, go! Get me back, okay? Is this a militant action? Are the Panthers storming the Capitol? Absolutely not. We're here to send a message. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general, and black people in particular, to take careful note of the racist California legislature now considering the mall for that. It's aimed to keep black people disarmed and powerless by the racist police agency throughout this country, intensified the terror, brutality, murder, and oppression of black people. Now, I got a question for you. Which way is the state assembly? Or it's right up there on the second floor. So. All right, good man. All power to the people. Yeah. Governor Ronald Reagan had this to say. The Black Panthers are a militant fringe group who are using fear and intimidation against the Oakland Police Department. Apparently, the Black Panther Party made a wrong turn and accidentally walked onto the assembly floor instead of the visitor's The Black gallery. Panther Party for self-defense is not anti-white. We anti-oppression. You can't fight racism with racism. The law the Panthers broke is disturbing the assembly. 26 Black Panthers have been arrested in Sacramento. We lost Bobby who had to serve six months for taking that wrong turn. And the Mulford Act eventually passed, so we lost the right to carry guns. But one thing we did get was worldwide attention. Yeah, disciplined niggas marching with guns. That got everybody's attention. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense claims to be the voice of the black community. However, Analysis of our field report reveals a high level of organizational skills. Well, we've been down this road before, haven't we, gentlemen? Uh -huh. What we have here is a classic example of outside agitation. Black terrorists on the floor of a state capital, I won't have it. This is obviously an organization funded and masterminded by some communist power hostile to the United States. The only question is, which one? Before we crush these ungrateful coons, find out who their real boss is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Come on, we're going for a ride. Get in the back seat. Come on, hustle up. We ain't got all day. Come on. So why didn't you tell me about this party you boys were planning at the Capitol? Look, man, the shit was spontaneous. Spontaneous, my ass. You told a friend. You didn't tell me. You better remember who you're working for. Yeah, whatever, whatever you say, man. You sassing me? Well, you look a little piece of shit. Get your black ass. Sass me, will you? Get out of the car. What? Get out of the fucking car. Whatever you say, Inspector Brim. Fuck? You're fucking ain't right, whatever I say. I'm gonna make sure you wear your head screwed on straight here, son. All right, get up here. Get over here. Oh, you know how fucking easy it'd be for you just to fucking disappear, huh? See ya? You know how I can get away with it? Because all these drivers see is a white cop and a punk black convict in handcuffs. You understand? Yeah, what do you want, man? What I want, I want you to get your ass out of neutral. I want you to set the Panthers on fucking plate for me. I want you to set them up for armed robbery. The Panthers don't rob nobody. They don't operate like that. Oh, fuck how they operate. You just do it, huh? Like you man says, for any means necessary. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Something for you two wishing? Get back in your fucking car. Keep it strong. What's that, man? 